Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, whenever you leave a constructive comment, it helps other people because other people do read the comments. I have not read this email yet, so this is going to be a fun one for me at least. Okay, let's open it up. Person's name is Vabehav. And the subject is about exam and a little stress. Hey, Sorcerer, how are you? Hope you are fine. Myself, Vavehab, currently doing BTEC in computer engineering. Sir, I want advice for you about exams. Sir, for my exams, I did a lot of problems. Did almost every concept, but still on exam, I failed to give my best. I became anxious during exam time, maybe due to my previous experience of engineering exams. By the way, I'm in second semester. Can you explain why such things happened? Because after even doing practice, I didn't get better results. And whenever I see my other friends are ahead of me, I start to compare myself with them and start feeling down because I want to make my mom and dad proud of myself. But I'm failing to do that. Please give me some advice, some preparation tips, not only for maths, but for other subjects too. Yours sincerely, Vape have. Wow, this is a really good email. So first, Vapehab, I am doing great. I just woke up and I had coffee and breakfast. So thank you, I am fine. <laughs> so um, I'm sorry that you didn't do so well on your exam. I have a couple things that I can tell you that I think can actually help you, okay? So, and a lot of this is gonna sound like generic advice, but these are the things that I do and these are the things that I tell other people to do when they're preparing for tests. And in my experience, it does work. So the first thing you want to do, okay, first thing you want to do is obviously you have homework in your class. And so you definitely want to finish the homework way before it's due. So for example, say today is Monday and your exam is on Friday, right? Ideally, in an ideal world, you're done with your homework, you know, several days before. And the reason you want to do that is because you want to give yourself time to study you want to give yourself time to rest. You know, you've just finished all the homework. You're probably tired and overworked. So you need some time for your brain to kind of just like absorb those ideas. And you also need time to go back and go over those ideas again. You need time to actually study for the test. So first thing, again, try to finish that homework early. This is easier said than done, obviously. Personally, I always had a really hard time with this. It was always very hard for me to finish the homework early. Um, but do your best. The second thing you should do is when you're studying for the test, if there's any kind of review that your professor gives you, any type of like outline of topics, you want to obsess over that, okay? So if the professor gives you anything that you know you can use to study for the test, obsess over those things because if they're giving you that, that means it's important, okay? I remember in graduate school, I was taking a cryptography class and me and my friend were eating pizza and it was like 1 a.m. And all of a sudden I get an email from our cryptography professor with the review sheet. My friend looks at me and he goes, it's the test. <laughs> and we just started studying and we did well thanks to the review. So totally worth going over any type of review. If you don't have any review, then just do what you did, right? Go over all the concepts, you know, everything that you know is taught in the class you go over all your notes go over all your homework just keep going over all of that but again you want to get it done a few days early um the comment about your friends you know doing better than you and you feeling down i know that feeling i know that feeling it didn't happen to me in mathematics but it happened to me in physics it happened to me in physics one and physics two i was really good in the calculus classes i had like some of the highest grades but when it came time for physics, I had a lot of friends and they were just getting A's and they would always get the top score or one of them would get the top score. I never, I never had the top score in physics. You know, it was, it was always a struggle. My first test was a C. So, you know, I really wasn't doing great and I tried and tried and tried and I failed. So if you try and you fail, just know that it's one class and maybe it's just the way it is, right? Sometimes no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you push, there's something that's beyond your control. 
And that something might be that you're lacking something in your background that your friends do have and that you don't have. In my personal experience, that's what I think it was with physics. I feel like my math background was weak, even though I was doing well in my math classes, I had a hard time solving those algebraic equations in physics, and that kind of threw me off. So maybe it's just the time, you know, maybe you'll do better next semester. So my advice is finish the homework early, spend as much time as you can going over your notes, going over the homework, and obviously if there's any kind of review, and then just do your best on the exam. And as far as the getting anxious part on the exams, that's something that you'll get over in time. Maybe when you, when you walk in there to the exam, what you should do, this is what I used to do, is have your work in front of you. Like right before they pass out the exam, you know, at some point they say clear your desks. But before they say that, usually in a classroom, you know, people are getting ready for a test. They're talking about the test. They're like, oh, I think I'm ready. Or, oh, I didn't understand number three in the homework. And there's always commotion and chatter in the classroom. What I would do is I would have all of my papers in front of me, uh, you know, on my desk, like all of my homework problems. And I would look over all of my homework and all of my notes right before the test. And if people ask you what you're doing, just say, I'm studying, right? Don't get involved in conversations with your classmates. And I think that really helps. Another tip I have for you is on test day, before the exam, wake up early and go over all of your notes and maybe do some problems, but don't overdo it. Um, so what I would do is I would wake up like at four or five in the morning and I would try to get at least two hours of study in before the test on test day. But you don't want to burn yourself out because you're actually going to have to do the test too, right? So you don't want to like completely exhaust your hand from working on math. So I would get up really, really early and work for about, you know, two hours or so in the morning, then go to school, go to class, and then just look over my notes, right? Not necessarily working out problems before the test, just looking over your solutions so that you have those techniques and strategies in your mind, you know, like let's just say you're taking calculus, you, you know how to use the mean value theorem to find the value of C in the mean value theorem, you know, you know how to find the equation of a tangent line. You have those solutions in front of you, you have those derivative formulas that you're seeing worked out in front of you, so it's fresh in your mind. It's a really good way to do it, and that's something I did before every single test. And in some classes, it worked better than others. You know, in physics, uh, it didn't work so well, but in my math classes, it did work. So that's my advice. Again, finish the homework early. If there's any type of review, go over it. Go over your notes, go over all the homework. On test day, wake up early, study for about two hours, but don't burn out. And then at the moment you're taking your test, like when you're in the classroom, have all your stuff out, okay, until they tell you to put it away, and just look over your notes. People are gonna give you funny looks. Don't let what other people think scare you. I remember sitting there thinking, I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm looking at my notes because this test is important. I have to get a good grade. And so all my friends would be talking and laughing and all nervous. I'm like, I'm just blocking it out. Okay, that's how you do that proof. Okay, oh right, you take the minimum. Okay, and just going over all of those techniques. And then as soon as you get the test, it's like, ah, oh, you know, just you've got it, right? You've got this knowledge in your mind. And then you tell yourself to relax. So hopefully you don't get too nervous. I hope my advice may has made sense. Hopefully this is not like some super long rant. Hopefully it helps you. I hope this video has been helpful. If anyone has any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.